Okay, this is Brandon with The Way It Happens. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube um, showing like different sizes of ammunition and different types of ammunition. I wanted to do my take on it. Okay, let's jump right into this. We're going to start off with small ammunition in front. This is a 22 short, 22 long rifle. This is a 25. It's a 32 and a 32 long. Next we have the more popular handgun ammunitions. Uh, at least this is the ones that I have. This is a 380. Next one down is a 9mm. It's a 40 Smith & Wesson. And a 45 ACP. And the ones in the back. This is a 9mm hollow point. That's an older, an older round. This is uh, 40 Smith & Wesson hollow point. It's a Hornaday TAP FPD. This is what I use for my home defense. Haven't fired any because those are pretty expensive. And down the line, this is a 38. The one in front. Sorry. 38 Smith & Wesson. 38 Super. And that's a 38 Special. And now when's the last time you've seen actual 38 Smith & Wesson. I don't even think they make that anymore. The ones behind the 38 Special. You got a... So in the back here, it's a hollow point. That's 38 Special Bird Shot. Now I haven't seen that in a while either. I'm not sure if they make that anymore. Next one down, this flat one is called a Wad Cutter. Now a Wad Cutter is flat. Just used for target practice. It's flat and it punches a nice clean hole through paper targets. That's basically what a wad cutter is. And real quick on the different types of bullets. Most of you know that's full metal jacket. And that's lead. Some it's sometimes referred to as a conical lead bullet. So if you ever hear, hear the term conical lead, that's what that is. Moving down the line, got some rifle ammunition. That is a first one right there is a 30 carbine, 223. Next one, my 308, 308 Winchester, 30 at 6. Behind the 223, it's a 223 hollow point. Uh, it's the only thing that they allow me to shoot at the range I go to. Either that or I'm um, soft point lead. I gotta find a better rifle range so I can shoot more than one, have more than one round in my magazine at a time. I'm mean, shooting an AR-15 and I want to keep on reloading my magazines. Especially when you have 30 round magazines, if you know what I mean. Next one's, next one down, the next four. I really don't know what these are, <laughs> to be honest. Um, this first one just says 36. So I think that's a 30 at 6, but I'm not sure. Next one says 30. It says um, 30 USA. Hi. <laughs> don't know what that is. Oh shit. Uh, go this one. This one just says, I don't know if you can see that. It says 37. R, whatever that symbol is, L, and a Roman numeral 7 on the bottom. I really don't know what that is. It's about the same size as, as a 30 at 6, a little wider on the bottom. The next one, I can't remember what this one was, but it's an old one. It says 1942, and it says FNP on the top. Hope you could see that. Alright, next, I'm going to go to shotgun ammunition. Okay, almost 100% of the time, 20 gauge is almost always in yellow. Got 16 gauge, 12 gauge. 20 and 12, those are the most, most popular. Um, a little education on shotgun shells. That's called low brass, high brass. So, this obviously has more power or more. Powder than this. That's for like small game, smaller rabbits, and 
Dove and whatever. That's a 3 inch Magnum. And that's a rifled slug. Same as this. Okay, that's a regular um, game load. These are all Sabbat slugs. That's called an Acculite. It has little tiny holes in the top, supposed to improve aerodynamics. I don't know, I just bought those. I really haven't shot them yet. Those get kind of pricey. That's called Core Locked. Though, th these are actually pretty fast. I took, I am, took down a deer with one of those. I think dropped like a ton of bricks. Uh, I can't find those any, any, anywhere. I bought those things like five years ago. Um, this is a regular Sabbat slug. Um, this is a copper solid Sabbat slug. It has a three inch magnum. It's kind of hard to tell. But it's a better comparison. Two and three quarters. It's a three inch. Right here. I'll give you a little bit of education on shotgun shells. This is called the uh, crimp on top. And on slugs, the crimp is folded down to keep the slug in place. See the crimp down alongside there? That white you see in there? That's called a wad. And some numbers. Okay, where it says two and three quarter, that's the size of the shell. That one and one quarter, that's the that's one and one quarter ounces, that's how much shot is in there. So I think. And the six, that's the size of the shot. See it says six here. Seven eighths of an ounce. I think. <laughs> and that used to say say two and three quarters right there. Six number six shot. Um let's see. Kinda running out of time here. Most of my Stuff for six sh is number six shot. Now the numbers, when it refer the shot, starts off at the lowest number or the highest number. I'm sorry, it's the smallest shot. Like nine is really tiny. Then it goes all the way up to like double lot. I think sometimes it goes up to triple lot, but it goes nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then uh, BB. Um, no, Remington is the new home defense on. It has BBs in there. BBs would be number one shot. Um, oh, as far as uh. Let me get back to our, oh, what you call it, uh, colors of shotgun shells. Um, I seen 12 gauge shells in red. Um, a lot of the game loads I I have seen on red and black. Um, a lot of the slugs, especially in a, a lot of, of um, Remington slugs, are in green. For um 12 gauge, sometimes they're in sometimes they're in red. This is a uh, BRI. I don't think they, they make these anymore. It's an old slug, but it, hey, it's still, still good. That slug is actually hourglass shaped. Um, Winchester has their slugs in gray. That's another company called um, Brunicky. Um, they have theirs in white. Um, I have seen uh, 12 gauge shells in, well, obviously green and red, gray, white, and I've seen uh, black too. 20 gauge is almost always in yellow. And 16 gauge, I haven't really seen too many 16 gauge shells. I really have no market for them. I just acquired these from a from a friend, a long time ago. Um, oh, slugs. Rifled slugs means that they have like little like tiny like little like tiny like grooves like on like the size of the slug it makes the slug spin when it. Exits the, um, the the muzzle of the gun. Um, kind of like um, rifles, or uh, like the rifling inside the barrel of a rifle. Sabbath slugs are shot through a rifle barrel. If you look down the uh, rifle barrel or a slug barrel for a shotgun, you see like like a like a corkscrew. That's called a rifling. Um, normally you're supposed to only shoot rifle slugs out of a smooth bore shotgun. Like a modified choke, or cylinder choke. You shouldn't really shoot slugs out of a full choke. I mean, it'll probably make it through, but I wouldn't really recommend it. So that's my um, take on ammunition. Something really cool here. This might be a part two. And here is 
your 50 cal BMG. This is a dummy rod. And this, hopefully they'll let me put this on, is kind of neat. This is shot out of a Messerschmitt 109, and I'll explain what that is in part two. Thank you.